Yeah, so we've got the Mobile Veta k 59 here on the Marquis stand. So this is an A-Class, exclusive to Marquis. Huge panoramic windows at the front. On a Fiat. LPG locker here. Let's have a look at the specs. So this is 91,495, not so bad if you say it quickly. <laughs> Overall length is 6 metres, 2.3 wide and 2.89 tall. The payload is 1,000 kilograms. Wow. Is it four? Well, I'm just trying to, yeah, it must be on a, yeah, it's on a 4 400 MTPLM. So that is some payload. Oh, that's on a spring there. Yeah, so you've got a locker, it's a tall locker there, for your skis and things. And a ladder. Looks like it's got like drop down shelves there. That was what we saw in the show song, wasn't it? The shelves yeah, that's fold like out. Something or other. Yeah, so you've got the rear view camera and bike rack and the toilet hatch is on the back here. Okay, so it must be a rear washroom. Be careful you don't whack your... You whack your bike on it. No, whack your head on there. Yeah. Does that mean you can't empty the toilet if you've got the bike rack down? It's consideration. <laughs> it's a, it is, yeah. This is a message for all These Electric point, water, oh, door open, a warning, but you've got the but you've got the driver's door on this side, if I can talk over the announcer. Coach style mirrors. Funky headlights. Hella headlights. Yeah. And two wipers on the screen. Some of them have three. There's a bit of an underfloor locker there. Well, that's locked. Okay, have a look inside. Yeah, it's got a Fiamma black edition awnings. They're doing black edition awnings now. Okay, different. It's very stylish in here. Yeah, so you've got. Travel seats, L-shaped lounge. Table, a movable table, it's not folding. Goes up and down, does it? Goes up it? and down, it looks yeah. like it's on electric, so it would make part of the bed. Um, first thing you notice really is a drop-down bed above the cab. Headroom gradually decreases as you get into the cab. This is a manual. It says it's for display purposes only, so I assume you could have it as automatic, which I guess would put the price up a bit. It says automatic as standard on there. Yeah. Oh, so I don't know if the price includes automatic. Then. No, no. Okay, so you've got your control panels. Please refrain from using it. TV up there, it's a good that's place for the TV. It says it's an Abtec smart TV. Oh, right, that's the one we were looking for, wasn't it? So, yeah. yeah. So it says the production model comes with two forward-facing seat belts I don't think they put the seat belts on there yet so no. this is obviously a pre-production yeah so what yeah, we've got halogen hob it's very nice oh induction it? hob yeah and gas two gas burners smallish Thetford oven grill 
Yeah, she's okay. It's Most okay, people, yeah. Yeah, we'd cope with that. We could live with that. That's clever, really, because you can just use... It's a bit difficult half, to, to half do half when you're holding yeah. that GoPro in one hand. Yeah. That's it. Got it. Yes. A little rack. What about the cupboards? Has it got a... Yeah, it's got that yeah, at the top. They, they feel... They look yeah. nice. What do they feel like? They're all right. I they're quite light, like, actually. Quite, quite spacious, like Yeah. A bit tall for me. Yeah. But. Yeah, it is quite a way up, isn't it? Yeah, especially but, that top shelf. But well, they all are, aren't they, really? Well, yeah. Nice sort of design logos on there. And, uh, What's that, then? I'm there? just trying to figure out something to do with the aerial. And you've got a solar charge controller there. That's okay. what that is. That's that, what that is. Yeah, right. Big freezer compartment. This is like our original fridge yeah. freezer. Yeah, it's very similar, isn't it? Yeah, that door and... Is it automatic energy? I think it that, might, would be. I would imagine I'll so. be surprised if it's not. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. I could live with that. Especially you've got a separate freezer. You've got these... That's your wardrobe. Yeah, no, that's all right. Similar size to our wardrobe. Yeah, isn't similar that? size, yeah. There's mm. only one of them there, isn't there? Yeah. Another locker there. It looks like you can pull that out. But yeah, there'll be some electrics or something under there, won't there? Right. I'm not going to do that. And here? Yeah. Is it locked? It's locked. It's in there. Oh no, it's just stiff. Just new. A lot of wood in here. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> you might have someone, in, someone already in there. Yeah. yeah, go on, I'll... You go in. I'll go in. Yeah, so have a look at the washroom. A little bit cramped, I would say. That'd be my first impression. That gives you access to the garage. Heated towel rail. Very stylish sort of sink, a salad bowl type sink. Locker. Yeah, that's all right. Shower's good. Good square size. And very stylish sort of shower head itself. Got like a wooden feel at the back. I think you said it's got like a lot of sort of wood feel in this isn't mm, it yeah i mean it's meant to <coughs> the very name is meant to make it feel like a little luxury yacht that's right the seat's very comfortable this sticks in your back a bit because it's quite hard but yeah so the but the sitting on it is very comfortable it's a nice lounge really because you obviously yeah. pull that across and yeah it's a, it is a beautiful there. lounge i think yeah. that's a, one of the big big points about this van isn't it and you've got the drop-down bed, which is, is out of the way, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I don't know how far it comes down. I don't know if it can do this. And there's a maximum capacity there, to 250. I won't do it because it probably needs to fold the seats down. Or yeah, I would imagine not. you do, yeah. It was temptation. You normally do in these A-class, and it fold that fold down. Fold it down and, and drop it down. Then you have to come up. Yeah. I don't see I assume, ladder, but... I assume this makes up into a bed as well. It's a single bed. Single bed, is it? Yeah, down oh, right, here. Okay. Yeah. So only sleeps three then. Well, it's, it's talked about the the pull down double and the single oh, lounge right, bed. Okay. So, so it is a van for three people. For three people. Two and an occasional. Yeah. Very stylish. Let's have a look round the outside. Never sure about these two steps like that. Yeah, all right. So, I mean, I mean it's okay here with that yeah, bigger I one. Yeah, I assume it's got a electric step somewhere behind there. But it's only, it's only six metres, isn't it? Yeah. So, and it feels so much bigger inside. Yeah. Yes, it's a single lounge yeah, bed. Yeah, single lounge bed. So it is really a three berth. Yeah, it says three berth, four seats. Right. But only okay. looked up we'll, there. We'll let them off. So if you're looking for a really stylish... A-class motor, that's worth having a look at. Yeah. Yeah, that's a K-Yacht 59. Yeah. 
it, yeah, it, it actually funny, isn't it? I forgot that it was just six metres when we were inside. I know, it does seem big in there. Yeah. It's quite light, light colouring. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, so on to roller team. We're going to have a look at the T-Line 700, I think it is, which is the one banging in front of us. Is it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Obviously, they are... Uh, Six, this is 65,000 this one, so four berth, four seat belts, seven metres, just under, 2.3 wide, and looking for the payload, so it's mass and running order, 3162, 3500, so 340, uh, 40, 300, and where's my mass, 338 payload, so not a huge payload. No. My Maths was never my strong point, so if I've got that wrong, apologies. <laughs> Quite a nice big washroom. Washroom? What am I talking about? Quite a nice big <laughs> garage. I suppose you could have a wash in there. <laughs> You've got an outside shower. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's got an outside barbecue point. Yeah, I can't see the shower. True mojito. True mojito. All right. Okay, so let's have a look inside. It's fly screen on the side. Go inside. It's quite... Yeah, I mean, we saw this. This table is very stylish. It's like a like antique a mar wood yeah, is, marble. It? Yeah. Doesn't move. Doesn't well, it move, doesn't move. No. Doesn't fold up. It's not a clever table. We've got a router up the top there, so a telco Wi-Fi router. They seem to be all be offering this, don't yeah, they? Yeah, well, it's... an added thing. It's such a good idea. Yeah. We've got, this is automatic, Fiat automatic, new cab. Seats are lovely. Mm. Even this little one's quite comfortable. Yeah, yeah. T TV's there. TV's it come... there, yeah. That Presumably that bracket pulls out. Yeah. And I'm... I suppose I'm not. Oh, let me get that right way around. I've plenty of room, headroom in here. That's your another. That's your bed, isn't it? Bed number one. Yeah, this is bed number one. Drop down bed. Which don't look that wide. I just chatted with the salesman. I said, obviously, with drop down beds, the great thing is obviously it saves length in the van. Island mm. beds are lovely, but yeah, this is a seven meter van. What have we got? We've got the. Duckboard on the floor, toilet, an unusual shaped sink, but it's good size. Shower unit. Yeah, that's all right. I think this um, front down. Front drop down bed come, obviously comes down to there, doesn't it? Yeah, so you've got all these a, seats you will need a ladder to get yeah. into it. So it don't look that wide, but long no, enough, I suppose but it's a bit of a cut off there, isn't there? Yeah, I'm not sure what the dimensions are, but I was just looking at this kitchen, and it's a kitchen is a really good, it's nice. The kitchen, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I suppose it looks, looks bigger because you've got the cover on the sink. Have you got here? You've got three gas burners in line. That always saves space. Yeah. That's nice. That's a huge cutlery drawer. Oh, that's an enormous cutlery drawer. Yeah. Even bigger drawer there. It's a screw somewhere. <laughs> right. There's your electrics. Probably a pan drawer under there, is that? Can you get that? Oh no, well, that's where you get your controls. Yeah. Okay, well that's handy to have. The usual um sorry, yeah, Thetford triplex, is it? Yeah. Yeah. That's a nice kitchen. Yeah. Sure about I'm not sure that. that's for your towels, isn't it? Yes, yeah, narrow towels. Yeah, locker. Somewhere to put your cups and things to hang. Thetford fridge. It's, a, it's like a double unit with it one, yeah, this, isn't it? Yeah, doesn't it? it? <laughs> I've got 
into looking in the size of freezers. I know, I know. <laughs> freezer Sad cupboards, because really, ours is. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind about opening cupboards. No, this is fine for my wine bottles down there, isn't it? <laughs> well, I wouldn't put those in there. <laughs> They'd be a freezer, wouldn't they? Was it a freezer? No, I don't know. I'm not sure. I think it's just a cool box, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I so you could put your wine in there. Yeah, is it automatic? Yeah, I think yeah, that's yeah. Yeah. It's like the one on the bailet, same as the one on the bailet. Yeah. Now, the other thing is you've got another drop-down bed here. So obviously if there's four people, you've got a good sized lounge, another drop-down bed. And you presumably you could also sleep on here as well, huh? Whether that... No, it doesn't, does it? No, that's no. just a lounge. Just a lounge, yeah. And more lockers here. Not a bad fan, this is it. If you don't mind climbing up into a, a bed, which you're probably not too high. Somewhere to put your cushions, hang your coats. You've got a portable table there, so you can use that outside. Or, or there. Or use it here. And you can still sit up the front. Lots yeah. Of, lots of seats. Lots of seats here. Point the camera in there, I've no idea what that's doing down there. <laughs> I can't lift that up. Oop. Can't really see in there, can you? Zoom. No, because it I normally you have like slats, don't it? It's just a wooden. Yeah, it solid looks like base. you can help pull something up there. Yeah. But presumably you can access it from outside. Yeah. Don't really look round outside yet, have I? No. No. I'm glad because I tend to lose track of what I've looked at at these <laughs> shows. Especially after about an hour. <laughs> after, yeah, after about an hour. You think, which van did I look at? So we're now on the Adria stand. And we've got an Adria Compact Supreme here. I've been asked to look at this. We did have some Adrias on our list, but it was just like, look at the Adrias. So this Adria Compact Supreme DL, 70,000 as seen here today. Um, payload is, you can make that, 500, 600, 700, just under 700. Three berth, isn't it? Three berth, and it's under seven metres. A lot of these vans are under seven metres, aren't they? Yeah. So I think we're all right to go in, single person. So Our it's family. got panoramic windows, slimline body. So the body, that's quite important, isn't it? Because its width is only 2.12 metres wide. If you look here, it's quite a narrow van. Again, yeah. overcomes that problem of the worries about width. Yeah. I'll have a look in there. Okay. Folding table. Yep. This is six speed manual. It is a Fiat, isn't it? Yeah, Fiat. It's a little bit dark in here. Let me put my light on. And you've got these lovely Adria cupboards. Push there. And that's obviously got a bed, I can say a bed mechanism. It's got something in it anyway. There's no <laughs> drop down bed here. No, not in the front here. But you know, it's only three berth. It's soft open. Yeah. It's nice. And it's a three berth? It's a three berth, so I, yeah. I presume this somehow makes that up must into, make a bed. into a single, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you've got a travel seat here because I can see from the headrest that must make up into a travel seat. Yeah, just probably just one, is it? Yeah, I think that'll be the main travel seat there. Obviously, plus the passenger seat and driver. It's got, this is unusual, sorry, move your head. Yeah, I'll take there. it off. Yeah. It's got sliding windows there, it's quite unusual. That's nice for a little bit of ventilation. Truma blown air. Control panel there, it's all flashing things at me. <laughs> what sort of sink? I mean, I've looked at these Adrias before, and they're quite interesting sink arrangements, aren't they? Uh, kitchen arrangements. They've always got the three hobs in a row. Yeah, all part of the kitchen sink yeah. unit. Yeah. So you've got those in a row. Gives you a bit of workspace here, but I'd say it's not a lot of workspace. No, no there isn't. Depends how much cooking you do, I guess. 
that's nice, nice big drawer. Seems a little bit lost on a cutlery drawer that, doesn't it? Deep, they are quite deep those drawers. Mm. Or under there, yeah. I like the fact that a lot of manufacturers are doing drawers rather than a flappy thing. Yeah, yeah. Again, you've got something in there. Well, it must be an extractor fan, I guess. Yeah, Actually, I quite like this. Yeah. <laughs> Your first impressions, isn't it? Yeah. It's always first impressions. Yeah. yeah. And it's not a huge lounge. No. The sofas no, are quite short. How, what it would be like if you had six people. How often do we have six people? Well, quite. Have a look at the washroom. A wet room, really. Got a sliding timbre door. Lock of space there. Uh, how does that work? What are we doing here? Oh, it just pulls. Now we've got another swing wall. Another swing wall bath. bathroom. Washroom. Yeah, Washroom. They really are popular now, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, the new really Evo no started it all those years ago, really. Yeah, didn't they? they did. Starfire did it. Yeah. And then you couldn't see any, and now no, they, all they got fell one. out of favour. And it's such a good idea. idea. Yeah. Well, yeah. You use the shower once a day, maybe. The rest of the time, you want the loo and the kitchen, uh, the sink rather. Yeah. Very good. And that just closes off. All right. I mean, for amounts of cooking that I do, elaborate cooking, this <laughs> oh, kitchen's I do. fine. Yeah. I do. Quite a small fridge. I think that's a tiny, tiny freezer. Sorry, it was a yeah, tiny... Yes, a little, it's a little small. <laughs> <but> small. <laughs> yes, Thetford unit. Yeah. Probably could have, put, could have put a bigger fridge in there, couldn't they? Yeah, so the but cupboard. That, but, you, but you've got a cupboard there, so I suppose. Swings and roundabouts. You've got three steps up to the bedroom. Do you know what they've got on here, Joe? They must know we were coming. What they got on here? Oh, the duvelets. duvelets, yeah. Yeah, got yeah. duvelets on here. I mean, yeah. they work really well in these sort of single beds. Yes. Not much sitting up room. No, and, and it would be a little bit worried with that cupboard above your head. Yeah, if you certainly forgot that up, up like that, the, like this is in the raised position, you're going to whack your head there. Yeah. Well, it's nice that they've got lockers it, in the bedroom. So yeah, I suppose you would get used to it. You'd do it once, and then you won't want to well, do it again. In the Malibu, you did it. Did it I did it twice, three times. Three times, <laughs> just to be right. sure. Yeah. Just so to be sure, uh, I didn't like lockers above my head. Doesn't seem to have a hanging rail in there. It just seems to have a load of cushions at the moment. So well, I'll have a look later. <laughs> it's a bit, a bit difficult. <laughs> they got another one the other side. That might have. What's that got in it? Um. Just another headrest. Okay. No, it doesn't seem to have any no, right. hanging right. You've got curtains to close off the area. Let me come down. This oh. hasn't got a rail in it, so. Don't think so. Yes, it has. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. So, so that's where you space. put. That's why you've only got a little fridge. Okay. Oh, that's a bit weird. Because you're it's... in a compact van. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose so. I. I yeah. Again. You forget, <laughs> don't you? Yeah. You forget. Yeah. Um, I was thinking it's a smallish lounge, but then it is. When you think about these lounges, we'll get in here. Get the table. We've still got leg room between us. Yes, oh yeah. You know, on some camper yeah. vans, you're banging knees. Banging knees, yeah. No, I mean, if you want, want it. For its so width, it yeah. pulls out. And oh, so it folds out. Yeah, so that's I okay. presume it goes up and down. Because yeah, let's say you'd make your third bed if you needed to. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, for a compact, you, yeah, you forget it's compact. Yeah. Especially when you look at the size of the beds in here. Which is is good actually, which is in its favour in a way, isn't it? Oh, because yeah, yeah. if you yeah. don't realise you're in a compact one. No, no. You just think you're in a normal sized coach built. Yeah. I'm quite impressed with this. Yeah. 
So some vans I go in and I think, oh yeah, I've seen that and go out. Yeah. Others I want to stay in. And so I just leave you here. This is one of the ones, yeah. Okay. I'll go and have a look around the outside then, shall I? I better come out and. Uh... <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. Let's have a look at the garage. That's not bad, is it? That's good. Not bad at all. Very well lined. It's a 12 volt and USB. I assume that's 12. That's two. Yeah, two, four, two volt. Tie down straps. Proper, proper eye hooks there. You can move. Got your wheel nut kit. Spare cushion. <laughs> well, it is a spare cushion, isn't yeah, it? I don't know where it's come from. Doors are the same size, aren't they? Doors are lined. Yeah, that's what I said. It's lined, and yeah. you've got similar. Yeah, there. Now that, that's interesting, isn't it? A lot of vans suffer from condensation in the garage, so I wonder if that's why they've lined these. Mm. Normally, you just have like a plain plastic. Plain. Yeah, yeah. Thing there. So, sounds like they're about to open. Yeah. Doesn't look like you can get access from the inside there. No. No. Well, I don't know. This, that opens somehow there. I don't know where it opens uh, yeah, from. Yeah, uh, you can. Well, that was a catch of it. Under the some, bed? Yeah, there's like a catch there, isn't there? So yeah. Maybe that gives you access to this unit here, which is the fillings. Fillings? Fillings? Fillings. Thing for filling things. Yeah because you've got your water points there. What's, what's this one then? That's your uh, electric so, point for you. So you can use a pump. So, so you use an external pump. Um, yeah. I never feel very strong that, though, That's actually they? a good idea. You know, on Swifts they always leave that exposed outside. Yeah. The fact it's under a cover. Is, is good. Top marks. Yeah, yeah. Nice wheels. Nice wheels, 225, 75R16s. Yeah. Black awning on the back. Yeah. Okay. No, I'm quite impressed with that. Yeah. Now see a toilet cassette there. Yeah. A little bin. All right. We're just having. People are turning up, so obviously they want to have a look at the vans. So we're getting to the end of what we're going to film this morning. But it has been interesting. Hmm. Quite a variety. Quite a variety. Things. Yeah. An LPG locker on the side here and the access to the garage the other side. So that's the Adria Compact DL Supreme.